I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test paper on advanced functions. I hope it is going to help you. What I have also done is some questions I have changed them a bit, rather simplified them a bit so that I can concentrate in explaining you the concept and uh, we can know it better or understand it better to answer any similar question in a test paper. So here is the very first question which is are the following three functions from the same family of polynomial functions? Justify your answer. So these are the three functions given to us. In the test paper they were slightly more complicated. Here I have simplified them. Now the question is are they from the same family or not? As you can see all of these functions have degree of 2. They are all quadratic so they are definitely from the same family. So one of the answers that they are from the same family, quadratic functions, degree 2, is, is okay. But it is not a complete answer. The complete answer would be is to explore these functions and find more properties so that you can actually say what family of polynomial functions they belong to. Normally, when we are referring to same family, we're actually looking into x-intercepts, right? So let's find the x-intercepts for these three functions. The last one is already given to you in the intercept form. It shows that two intercepts are at x equals to 1 and x equals to minus 3. Well, in the test paper, it is not going to be that simple. The first one, x squared plus 2x minus 3, let us factor this. We are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 3 and the sum is 2. So the numbers are plus 3 and minus 1. So you can factor this as x plus 3 times x minus 1. So what you notice is that you do get the same factors, right? So they have the same x-intercepts. The second one is if you factor minus 2 out, what do you get? You get x squared plus 2x minus 3. You get the same equation as the very first one. The only difference here is that the leading coefficient is different, right? So you can again write it in the factored form, which is minus 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 1, right? So a is different. And in the last one, you can clearly see the value of a is minus 0 0.5. So let me rewrite this here, which is minus 0 0.5. I'm just copying it as such, but I'm changing the order. Okay just to show that I have done something on this, right? Now, you know, that is how it is. So in a test paper, you'll find three different functions. So you need to do factoring. They will not be that simple as I've kept here. So this is more to explain you the concept rather than uh, teach you the skills of doing things, right? So for the skills, we have more questions to follow. So what we are trying to say here is all the three functions could be kind of sketched, right? And what you notice is that they have common x-intercepts. So the first one, which is which has zeros, or the x-intercepts at minus 3, let's say this is minus 3 for us, and at 1, right? So that are the zeros. And you can actually find that the x of symmetry will be right in the center, which will be minus 3 plus 2. So let's find maximum or minimum, like vertex for each, right? Let's find the vertex. It's a good idea. So vertex will be at x equals to which point? x equals to minus 3 plus 1 divided by 2, which is minus 1. So if I substitute minus 1 here, what do I get? For the first function, uh, let me say vertex will be at minus 1. And minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So it gives me a value of plus 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4. So I have a vertex at minus 1, which is to say that line of symmetry is going through this point, right? And the graph is upwards with vertex on this line of axis, okay? And that is how my graph is. The points here are minus 3, and 1, correct? And this point is minus 4 for us. So that is what we get for the very first function. 
For the next one, we have the same x-intercepts. But in this case, a value is minus 2. So basically the relation is, if you can see, the relation is a times x plus 3 times x minus 1. So they belong to the same family with exactly same x-intercepts, but leading coefficient is different. And that is why we say these polynomial functions belong to the same family. Next one, minus 2 times all this. That means this will be flipped. And the vertex will be now at, not at minus 4, but 2 times, minus 2 times minus 4, which is going to be minus 8. So it will be kind of, let me just make a graph like this, with maximum here, right? So these are approximate sketches to teach you the concept. So this point here will be at minus 1 plus 8, correct? So that is for the second function. Now the third function is, again, leading coefficient is minus 0 0.5, so it will open downwards. But in this case, your maximum value is going to be half of minus 4 with a negative sign. That is to say 2. So that will be a graph which will be kind of like this, right? So it is going to turn from here and will go like this, right? So that is the third one for us. Correct? You can clearly see that all the three functions have a common characteristic. They belong to the same family and that is they have linear zeros at x equals to minus 3 and 1. So that is how you can justify your answer, right? So let me just elaborate on this and we could in the test have actually degree 3 or 4 functions also and let us say if you have a function now that's an additional problem for you so I s I'll say a question for you to do that is we have a cubic function with zeros given to us at let us say x equals to minus 2 minus 1 and plus 2 right in that case can you suggest the family of polynomials? Well, the family of polynomials which satisfies this will be, you could write in general, f of x equals to a times these zeros, which is x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 2. So that is how you get the family. Depending on the value of a, you'll have different curves, but the zeros will be at the same point. You understand the zeros will coincide for each one of them. So you could have a curve like this of the cubic function, right? Or you could have a curve like this, depending on what the leading coefficient is. And many more different types and variations to the same thing. We say they all belong to the same family. It could be like this. Do you see that? It could be like this. Right? So depending on the value of A, there will be a variation, but their x-intercepts will be exactly the same, and that is what we mean when we say same family of polynomial functions. I hope the concept is clear to you. Thank you, and all the best.